And so what that means is basically when you see a panel by itself or batteries, um, you are also needed to be trained on what they're looking at to identify, yes, this is solar, this is not solar, and this is how we're supposed to tax it. Okay. And so that clarity was also put in place. All right. You have mentioned uh, the roundtable discussion that you had with URA mm. in regards to uh, the association and how to help everyone that is under the association yes. who is importing in products and services related to solar energy get tax exemptions. Now, what are those particular tax exemptions that they have in case there's an interested party in mm. out there that would like to then join the association to enjoy these benefits? No problem. Um, so at the East Africa level, all goods coming into the East Africa community um, that are solar equipment for storage and generation of solar electricity. So basically that's everything from the panel, um, the battery, um, and the charge controllers. All of that is tax exempt. So that means it's zero rated, so you don't pay any taxes on that, right? And so every company that's doing solar business should be able to get that exemption. But the main issue was that if you import, for example, if you're, the solar sector is divided into different categories. So there are some that bring everything in together, right? The panel, the batteries in kits, um, connected already. Others bring the components because their business is to sell to these smaller ones, replacement parts or whatever. And so at the point of import, you find these two separate companies get different tax treatments, but it's the same products. Right? Mm -hmm. And so we needed to be able to clarify that and make it uniform. Right? And so everyone is supposed to get that tax exemption. And so that's what we were able to put in a formal process in a letter. So if that letter comes, they know you're supposed to get the exemption. Okay, or yes. you also did make mention of the tax handbook. You say that it's the first in Uganda and probably yes. the first in East Africa. Yes. Uh, what were the problems that you were trying to solve with this tax book? Ah, so the solar sector is quite wide. So we have solar that's used just for lighting, solar for productive use, which is for manufacturing on income generation, and then solar for water, right? And so that, and within each of those segments, there are 